welcome to my next video and my first video on my mods that I have mods are upgrades that I've done to my road trek my road trek 190 popular this road trek is a 2012 chassis on a 2013 road trek build if that makes any sense to you it does to me now <laughs> but anyway and just like the title says this is a video on how I installed lithium batteries in my road trek and it works it really does and if you're on the fence about doing it and you've got a 190 I, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did and what I had to change out well I'm not gonna show you the trip light because I can't get back under the, the sofa but I'll explain to you where you can get the information for that so let's get started give you a little background here Okay, if you've been following my videos, you know I'm a retired over-the-road long-haul truck driver. I took possession of my road track way back there. And I took possession on a 4th of July weekend. And I took, they delivered it to me on Saturday. And I had to go back on the road on a Sunday. And my road track initially came with a 112 volt, no-name brand, AGM battery okay I put it straight in storage next day I was off on the road again working didn't come back into for over 90 days back before I saw my road trek again and through me working going and coming I killed that no name brand AGM battery that was in there in the process I don't know if I did any good to the chassis battery either, so I got them both replaced, okay? And I replaced my coach battery because I killed the old one. I, 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 I killed it. I put a Lifeline, one battery, 12 volt, 100 watt hour battery in it. And I thought that was an upgrade. Okay, fast forward until November of last year, 2022 when I retired, okay, I was retired, and I ordered my trailer up, and I, my smart car trailer up, and I had to go all the way from Baltimore all the way out to Nebraska to pick it up because that's just as close as they could deliver it to me. It's a custom trailer for a smart car. At that time, I took my road track out completely out of storage. I'd already had it all serviced and everything ready to go out and pick up my trailer, and I was running on that lifeline 100 watt agm battery i found out now this is me i found out that that one battery agm was not enough for me at that time to run my furnace my refrigerator on dc my my uh fat fan in the ceiling and my lights overnight in the coach camping it would always die out Okay, I mean, boom, is dead. And I go, this, this is a joke. Now, I know I've went through the forms and all that, and a lot of people don't have any problem. I have a problem. I guess I'm a power-hungry guy or something. I don't know. So anyway, I went ahead and finished that short trip up. Knowing that I was going to leave out of Baltimore on the 20, well, out of Maryland on the 27th of December to go west, to, all the way to the West Coast. And in the process, I was going to stop in by Courtside in January where they got all the, all the, the nomads in the United States go to in Canada <laughs> during January because they got the big tent sale out here that they've got RV parts, vendors from all over out there and RVs too. Anyway, coming a little bit further, coming from the East Coast out to the West Coast, same problem with that Lifeline battery. Well, that AGM battery. It's just AGM battery. It was not the Lifeline. They're good batteries. I use too much power. Okay, or I expecting too much power out of the battery. My plan B was to go to a second. Put another AGM Lifeline in there to match it up. Then I started thinking, after I'd done all the research over the, over the time, I said, man... I'm just going to go ahead and go lithium, max it out, and get it over with. Because I probably had to upgrade that too. So, a little bit more. When I came out to court, when I got to courtside, and they started the big tent show, I knew they was going to have battery vendors there. So, and I went checking them. They had the Battleborn guys that were there. 
Those batteries are expensive, even at tent show prices. The other batteries that I was going to look at, I can't remember the name of them, but they wasn't at the show. Is the battery that had the power pack on the top that you could take off. They weren't there. My third choice of battery was the Lion batteries, the Lion lithium batteries. And that's the one I ended up purchasing. Got them at cheaper than, show, than tent show price. I got lucky, guys. Anyway, I got the... Lion 1300s. I, they have two models of that. One of them has a Bluetooth in it, so you can see the stuff on your phone. I didn't need that because I've got a Victron 712, which shows you everything anyway in, in the road track. I'll show you how I mounted that as well. Anyway, I ended up with the 1300s. Got them installed after doing all that research, how to install them, looking at the blogs, looking at the Facebooks, looking at the YouTubes. Some of them guys, I don't know how they did it. I really don't, okay? And I'll explain that to you once I show you around. But anyway, some of the guys are saying, or some of the people are saying, all you have to do is just put the, the, the lithium batteries in there and you're good to go. Well, I put the lithium batteries in there and nothing happened, okay? You kill them batteries. But anyway, got two of them now. Uh, on the Battleborn website, they have a piece, uh, 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 a chart that shows you exactly what you have to do to your trip light inverter, converter, whatever they want to call it. It's a trip light 750 in my road track. So I took that, changed all the little dip switches. Boy, it's hard to get up underneath there. Changed all the little dip switches, them tiny switches, just like they said. Still couldn't get it to work, to charge up. It charged a little bit, but, you know, off the generator, it's going to charge anyway. But it wouldn't charge off my alternator when I ran the, when I ran the van. So anyway, started doing a little bit more, and I went and purchased another item, which is called a lithium battery isolator monitor or manager. Got that. Battle born again. Another, uh, they got that part. They got the piece of paper, show you how to do it, and they got the, the ba lithium battery manager isolator manager whatever you want to call it also there's where you can get the parts for it and that's where they you get to see what you need to do your trip light if you got a 750 anyway got all that installed yeah it's simple it's simple once you get it to do it and it works and i'm going to tell you right now once i got my batteries balanced charged up and balanced and all that good stuff i went three days Three days on those Lion lithium batteries. They're 105 watts a piece. Okay? And you can drain them all the way down and then bring them. Everybody knows about lithium batteries. And there's a reason I got those lines. And I'm gonna, I'll, I'll show you what it is when I go around. We'll go around and see what they look like. Anyway, three days running my furnace, my refrigerator, my lights, my, my TV, everything on those two batteries and still had power to go. I think I could have went another day or two, but I moved from that campsite someplace else, so I started up my motor. During that time frame, I only started my, my generator up about three times, and that was to use my microwave because the inverter ain't got enough juice to turn the microwave on. I'm thinking about changing that out too. But anyway, if you're on the fence about going lithium batteries, I'm gonna tell you why. It's a game changer to me. That th they work, okay? They really work. So with all that being said, take you around. I'm gonna show you how I installed mine and what I did up there with that lithium battery, or whatever they wanna call the thing. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here's my battery box. My battery box is in, on the passenger side uh, in front of the rear wheel, in front of the rear wh rear wheel. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, right there sits my two Lion Lithium 1300 batteries, okay? And people are wondering if you can get two of them in there. They fit in there perfect. And if you look, I've got room on the right left side and a little space on the right side. The only issue is the original battery holder does not work it didn't work so what i did is i got a ratchet strap here i hope you can see it right there's the ratchet strap 
and put it in. Screwed it into the floor over here and the other part over here. And then, and you slid those batteries in, bought a couple of little old eight inch cables to hook the, uh, the positive to the positive, the negative to the negative in the back. And right there is where my Victron 12, uh, 712 shunt is. And then hooked it up. Okay, I've got the, 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 the meter right here. Okay, here's my battery box. My battery box is in, on the passenger side uh, in front of the rear wheel. In front of the rear, rear wheel. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, right there sits my two Lion Lithium 1300 batteries. Okay, and people are wondering if you can get two of them in there. They fit in there perfect. And if you look, I've got room on the right, left side and a little space on the right side. The only issue is the original battery holder does not work. It didn't work. So what I did is I got a ratchet strap here. I hope you can see it. Right there's the ratchet strap and put it in. Screwed it into the floor over here and the other part over here. And then, and you slid those batteries in Bought a couple of little old eight inch cables to hook the, uh, the positive to the positive, the negative to the negative in the back. And right there is where my Victron 12, uh, 712 shunt is. And then hooked it up. Okay, I've got the, 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 the meter right here all bagged up. And when I put my, my solar panels on the top, I'll do that. But that's easy. And those things fit in that battery box, no problem. No problem whatsoever. From here, you need to go on the inside if you've got a, a, a trip light 750 and change those little dip switches in there. Now let's go up in the front. Up here in the front. This right here is the original battery separator. Okay, there's the model number of it. This was OEM from uh, Road Trek. It was mounted right up here okay right there on the firewall what i did was i took pictures of the where the terminals are and where the wires were at on here there was only uh one two three wires on there they had well one two three four five wires okay this one right here goes to the chassis went to the chassis battery and this one went to the coach battery right there chassis battery coach battery and the other one let's see which one was that uh the ground the ground wire was on this if you look on the front of this thing it'll tell you right there right there ground okay and what i did was after i got it took this set of this bat here's a picture of it so that you can see you can zoom in pause and zoom in it's a battery it's called it, they call it an LIBIM 225. And you can get them on the Battleborn site, on their website. Battery something, lithium battery uh, something manager, <laughs> lithium battery information something manager. Anyway, and you look at it and it'll tell you. Like it'll say ground, I mean chassis battery, coach battery, right there. Easy peasy, and you get a picture of your wires when you take them off of, of this thing right here, this battery isolator, and you hook them up the same way. Orange to there, which is the coach battery, and this little red one right there went to the chassis battery. And then the other one, the, uh, the ground, went right there in the center. And the colors are the same, if you'll notice what the colors are. Okay, didn't have to do anything. The only thing I had to do was take this ground one right here, this green one, I don't know if you can see the color or not, and clip that, because it had a plug-in plug on the end of it, and get me two, I got two little ring clamps, little circle clamps, and crimped them on there, and then hooked the ground to that. And that was all I really had to do, but I went ahead and hooked up this ignition wire. That was a little problem finding that one, but I cl clipped into it right there and then mounted that right there. That's all you have to do. And I had to get down to the hardware store down there at the, like an Ace Hardware here in uh, Quartzsite and pick up some self-tapping screws 
then that's it. That's all you got to do. That's it's so simple. So simple to do. This is the way I did it. If you do it this way and something happens, don't call me. This is for informational purposes, okay? This is what I did. And now I got lithium batteries and I'm happy. I am totally satisfied with it. And it's a, it was a life changer for me. It really was. Well, for me and my power usage. Okay, in the first part of this video, you saw some uh, solar panels, okay? Those solar panels, let's see if I don't get shot of them. Yeah, there they are right there. Those solar panels are not hooked to that battery, okay? They're not hooked to the, the line, my coach batteries. Those are hooked up to my, uh, my Blue Yeti. Uh, it's a 200 Max, okay? Those are charging up my Max on the inside. Yeah, I'm a power hungry guy. I sure am. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave some comments. Leave me some comments out there. And if you ever see the flags flying, the streamers flying, the black and orange, come on by and say hi. Come on by and say hi. If you see, see them flags flying, you stop in and say hi to me. Until next video, check you later. All right. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, man. Hit that thumbs up, too, man. Give me a thummy. Make sure you stay tuned for my next adventure here. See what Shadow Wolf is going to be up to. See you later. May the Lord bless everyone out there.